What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have for you a multi-directional plyometric and strength training workout. So for the strength training portion, a lot of it is gonna be rotational exercises. So if you want a rotational session, definitely check this one out. We do have some anti-rotation as well. Um, and if you want an anti-rotation workout, leave us a comment down below. Also, when this video is live, so is our snowboarding program, Shred from the Start. Head over to our website, check it out. It's a six week online snowboard program to get you ready for the snowboard season. So you get 18 workouts, three a week for six weeks, plus many other cool things. So link in our description down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We post new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays, so make sure you subscribe to catch all of them. Hope you guys like it. All right, we are starting off with moving pogo. So we're gonna go double leg, forward, all the way down, or just stand up. No, 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 that, that works, that works. And then double leg lateral, moving back, flip and face the other direction, halfway. <laughs> Or you can just go. Cut it. Flip <laughs> and face the other direction halfway. And then single leg forward each side and then lateral. When you're going lateral, make sure you get each foot as uh, the lead and each as the trail. We're gonna be here all day watching Pogos. <laughs> hey. We're almost done. It is now 2057. Done He's done with pogos and cars fly. Next, we are doing some multi directional jumps. So, start off broad jump to a lateral jump. We're going to go each side. And if you're relatively new to this type of stuff, make sure you stick the landing. If you've been doing this for a while, you can go a little bit quicker. Stick it at the end though. Next, we got broad to a lateral to a vertical jump. Perfect. And then other side. And then final progression, broad to lateral to vertical to lateral back to the middle. Notice how when Spencer does it, his knees stay in the perfect spot every single time. He's not pushing more off one, he's pushing off both feet. He's really under control. Body control is massive when it comes to multi-direction, multi-planar, rotational stuff. We are doing single leg multi-planar box jumps, or box hops, single leg. So side, side, up, other side, side, up. Six a side. Try to keep that ankle nice and stiff. Don't let anything collapse, joints stay stiff. Try to just get there, get up. Body control again. Hi right, guys, we're doing some single leg cone and box hops. So one leg pivots per direction. So it ends on the big 24. This way we're working on different heights, different jumps, having to hit different things while rotating, keeping awareness, keeping body control as we're pivoting and jumping, gauging different heights. Yep. Final thing, this one is pretty advanced. So 180 degree lateral jump and then bring it back. So when you jump back the 180, you really have to lock that in going backwards. It makes it kind of hard. Make sure your knees don't come in. If that's too hard, then we'll just do 180 degree jump turns. You want to demo real quickly. So take the lat out of it. You're just going to jump, turn and face the other direction and then bring it back. So just like that, progress into the lateral jumps if you have to. 1A, we are doing a single arm rotational landmine press. So start side on, hold it on that outside arm jump, turn, lock it out, you can hear the clink. Big thing, once again, legs drive this motion as with most power exercises we do. Big thing, lock it out at the top. Notice how he doesn't let that landmine twist him more. Squeeze your core, squeeze your butt, lock it out. After landmine, we have a med ball shot put. Two A, we are doing a rotational walking lunge. So lunge out, rotate over the top knee, 
follow it with your shoulders really squeeze your core and really watch your knees make sure that your front knee nor your back knee track in or out when you do it really lock it out make sure that toe stays over or the knee stays over that toe when you do these to be we're doing split stands double arm rainbow press so lock it out we're going side to side a big thing when it comes to doing rotational work is also making sure we hit anti-rotation so we have to make sure that even if our, our body or parts of our body is rotating we are under control and we are staying as one unit so to say so half of us isn't rotating while the other half isn't we're locked in able to control what our body is doing in different planes final part we are doing a kettlebell row with an opposite resistance band row so notice as he rows one he releases the other so we're working on that thoracic rotation really gotta lock this one in keep it nice and tight under control you don't have to go crazy heavy with your kettlebell we're using a 25. you can also do this with the cable machine it might be a little bit better the resistance band gets a little awkward but keep it locked in big chest elbows stay close to your body really use your toes to grab onto the ground 3a we're doing a curtsy lunge to a rotational step up Ooh, nice lock so, <laughs> so curtsy and then out of that curtsy we're doing a rotational step up so nice fast explosive use those arms spencer figured out the right arms watch our last video to understand lock it up notice how at the top his body just completely locks it out. He's not wiggling or wobbling. Squeezes his core, squeezes his butt. <laughs> Great timing. <laughs> squeezes, yeah. squeezes his core, squeezes his butt. He's not over rotating, right? We need to know how to control ourselves, how to not over rotate. We're doing a half kneeling high to low row with rotation. So really row with your lats. However, we're having our whole upper body get into this one. So rotate, control it on the way in, control it on the way out. He gets controlled when he releases that thing, that band, release it through the core. His core is in control of the motion. Single leg stability ball, hamstring curl, ISO. So 10 seconds aside, hits up as high as you can the entire time bring that ball in a little bit keep we like to keep the angle about 90 degrees at the knee so lock it in really use your posterior chain your hamstrings your glutes keep that ball there first thing for abs hanging cross body leg raises so you're gonna go side bottom side to upper side really use your obliques control try not to swing at the end you have some each side so i think it's like i don't remember how many each side five six eight i'll put it on the screen whatever it is but both sides <laughs> last thing we have a v-hold with the med ball overhead toss so you can toss it to the sides up above their head they have to control it without letting the med ball take them down 